Welcome to Bikini Zero. Tech news, bikini driven. To see any story I'm reporting, just click the number there on our groovy record player. You'll see a pop-up with the links to the story. That's it. Have you been hiding in your geeky computer world? Too afraid to join the big bad world of tough tattoos? No chance of having your skin inked with some hottie's name? Other than your mother? Now you can stay in hiding and virtually check out how those killer tats look on real skin. And not your pacey rehab tan. Krusty Demon's Tattoo Parlor provides a virtual body canvas for you to slam your doodle on. It's interactive. Choose the design, choose the model skin realty for your tat, type in the silly name your mama gave you, and watch it bake. This site is a creation of the brain-smoking genius team called Flesh Wound Films. They brought you Crusty Demons of Dirt, the groundbreaking motocross videos that totally took the world by storm back in the mid-90s. Their vids detonate, but the tattoo parlor is TV repairman, butt crack dandy. So butch up, Casper. Click number five to scope those wicked cyber tats. Do you want to see what more attractive people than you do with their batteries? Unlike your habit of licking a charge off the batteries you stole from that device you found under your grandma's bed, take a look at this sprocket bucket the world's first electric solar hybrid car, called the Astrolab by its French maker Venturi. This dynamo gets juiced from 3.6 square meters of photovoltaic cells molded into the car body. The solar and electric power doesn't mean you'll be yawning along either, eating the dust off the turtle booty racing in front of you. This four-wheeled solar roadster can kick it to 85 miles per hour. A little slow for losing the badge tailing you and Granny after your battery heist at the hardware store, but it should be more than adequate for you, Joe Public, when those curvaceous photo cells hit the mainstream market in early 2008. So ping number four to catch the buzz on this buggy. Fembots, you've always dreamed of the female robot, and not like the one you made using the shop vac and your mom's hairpiece. This one, with the clunky robo name Actroid DER2, is brought to you by Sanrio, makers of the evil, e sinister, world-threatening. Hello, Kitty. Below the tech-sexy exterior of the Fembot lies the true heart and soul of this nuts and bolts heartthrob. Yes. I'm talking about the 37 hamster wheel mini motors that bring this buxom bot to life. We haven't quite figured out what she does yet. She's made to look young and hot, rather than like R2-D2 in drag. Which leads viewers to go, hmm. Now for the downside. It might take a little effort to get the engagement ring over those hefty man mitts she's packing at the end of those steel girder forearms. So what does your $3,500 rental fee get you? A fembot or a tranny bot? <laughs> Plug your mouse into number three to see. Hey, where do I plug this in? We know you're a grade-A beefcake and can pocket all the love loot your jockstrap can harness. But here's your chance to give the gift of girl <laughs> to your rhubarb complexion classmate who's been jigging your math test for you while you spend your non-football practice time casting cheerleaders for your art film. Here's your chance to make your abscess face friend feel he's attractive to someone in the world which might weed him away from those high-class primates he's been pining for on the Nature Hi, Channel. I seen you here before. Why not send him this oral reportage to make him feel like buffing up for women again and exercising more than just his mouse hand? You type in your options and a sizzling piece of estrogen appears in a video. She calls him by name 
and gabs him up as if he were a bay magnet in a factory of femme fun. We won't give away all the secrets. Let's just hint that this gift may boost his testosterone into overdrive. Or at least enough to ride shotgun on your next wily adventure. To razz his jazz, link this kink to your pasty academic pal. Those blonde Swedes can do more than just make you feel twingly inside. Two students, who we'll call Arnborg and Magnar, because their real names sound like my old Volvo cranking over in the morning, scribbled out a little master thesis for Twingly. Bear with me. Twingly is a blog indexing service they work for in Sweden. So their thesis project turned out to be something beautiful and powerful, all wrapped into a quiet little application you usually consider unimportant, a screensaver. If you want a global sampling of blogs, the Twingly screensaver will real-time those blogs to your screen the minute they're posted on the internet. As they scroll by, click on the one you like to check out the original site. This blog search engine scans for new blogs and slams them uncensored upside your desktop and onto a cool rotating virtual globe. It's an application as well as a screensaver, so you can run it anytime you want. For blogaholics who need their fix now, the Twingly screensaver isn't just your hit, it's your pusher. From the country that brought you IKEA, ABBA, and Saab, you know it's going to be eye candy licious and dish out that tech paycheck. Click number one to get the gravy on this Swedish meatball. Here's a little David who not only stood up to Goliath, he got an interview with him. Aaron Stanton did just that, with Google. Aaron's a small town Idaho whiz geek who developed a software idea he wanted to pitch to Google. But the Googleplex fortress is a little too tight for your unconnected Idaho spudologist <laughs> to just gallop in for a meeting. So Aaron became a commando of code. He built a web page called cangooglehearme.com to document his quest for all to see. I'm going to spill the beans. Obviously, Google liked what they saw because he's now signed a non-disclosure agreement which negates him from gushing any more Googler goodies to us. But dial in and read his truly inspiring story. He got his meeting and the monster tech giant did see his offering. For his perseverance in chutzpah, Aaron is this week's Bikini Zero Hero. Toggle the zero for this Google Boodle. So thanks for dialing in, and thanks also to our sponsor, Rackforce, for joining our beach party and creating part of that tidal pipeline you're surfing on right now. Rackforce is the big kahuna when it comes to serving up your website and applications over the internet. They supply the servers and advanced infrastructure to surf providers all over the world. If you're expecting the dig effect, Rackforce can prevent the dreaded sudden server overload as they've proven already with worldwide customers, even as large as Microsoft. Thanks again to Rackforce, and thank you for breezing into our tropical playground. For more tech news, bikini-driven, dial in next week. See you at the beach.